today we are going to see the corollary of Whitney's theorem. Whitney's theorem mentioned about the characterization of a two connected graph with mu greater than or equal to 3. So you can see Whitney's theorem here. A graph G with mu greater than or equal to 3 is two connected if and only if any two vertices of G are connected by at least two internally disjoint parts. And also we have seen before the operation of subdivision on an edge in a graph. An edge E is said to be subdivided when it is deleted and replaced by a path of length 2 connecting its ends. The internal vertex of this path is the new vertex which is formed. Then as a remark, given a block such that mu of g is greater than or equal to 3, we can apply the operation of subdivision on g to get a new graph h and then we can say h is also a block. Suppose for instance, we are going to subdivide every edge of the block g. Suppose every edge of the block g is subdivided to get the new graph h. Then we claim that no edge in G is a cut edge in G. So how to prove this claim? If E is equal to UV is a cut edge in G, then automatically U and V will become cut vertices in G, which is a contradiction to the definition of a block. So we have our, our claim proved. Also, since G is a block, no vertices in G are cut vertices in G. Vertices in G which are also in H are therefore not cut vertices in H. That is also an observation we can use here. So if we add newly incorporated vertices in H after the operation of subdivision on G, uh, if they are becoming cut vertices in H, their corresponding edges in G becomes cut edges in G, which is a contradiction. Therefore, H will not have any cut vertices and also that uh, H is connected is obvious. So H is a connected, H being a graph which is a connected graph with no cut vertices, H will remain a block. So you can see here uh, this graph is a block since it is connected and it doesn't have any cut vertices. Suppose if we are uh, dividing every edge of G, if they are subdivided, you get um, the newly formed graph to be like this. You can call it H. Okay. So the next is the corollary of Whitney's theorem, which is the main point in this uh, video. Corollary 3.2.2. Uh, it is given that if G is a block with mu greater than or equal to 3, then any two edges of G will lie in a common site. So for that, let us consider a block G uh, having mu of G greater than or equal to 3 and we are going to take uh, in the in the corollary it is said uh, take any two edges right. So we took uh, two edges E1 E2 belonging to that set of G. We are going to form a new graph G dash by subdivi subdividing these two edges E1 and E2. So two new internal vertices V1 and V2 are formed simultaneously right. So, further we can understand that mu of the newly formed G dash will be greater than or equal to mu of G plus 2 because we have added two more vertices uh, in the old graph, right? So, that is greater than or equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5. So, you get mu of G dash is greater than or equal to 5. And also since G is a block by the earlier proof of the remark we just mentioned now, G dash will also be remaining as a block because it is formed using the operation of subdivision on the edges E1 and E2. We have proved earlier that every block with at least three vertices is two connected. That was proved earlier. So here G dash being a block with mu of G dash definitely greater than or equal to 3. We already said mu of G dash is greater than or equal to 5. So here uh, you have this uh, hypothesis satisfied. That will mean this G dash is 2 connected. And earlier we proved corollary 3.2.1 which said that uh, if G dash is 2 connected, 
any two vertices in G dash will lie on a common circuit, common cycle. So in particular, if V1 and V2 are selected in G dash, they will lie in a common cycle in G dash, right? So correspondingly, we can say that the edges E1 and E2 in G will lie on a common cycle in G. So that is the logic of this proof. You can see uh, the same logic in this example. So uh, we took the same block as earlier. And suppose if this is E1 and this is E2, we are going to subdivide E1 and E2. See, when we subdivide, you get new vertices V1 and V2 sitting here. And definitely this V1 and V2 are lying in this uh, cycle. I have uh, colored it a green uh, as a green cycle. And this same cycle will work here uh, for this E1 and E2. This E1 and E2 are lying on the same common cycle in G. So that's an illustration for this corollary. And to conclude, we are going to uh, discuss two statements, uh, which is a generalized version of Whitney's theorem. In Whitney's theorem, as mentioned, uh, we said that if a graph G is given with new greater than or equal to 3, uh, that is two connected. The characterization of two connectedness is being uh, discussed there in Whitney's theorem. If and only if any two vertices of G are connected by at least two internally disjoint parts. So instead of this two, we are going to generalize it to K. So here three is equal to two plus one. That means uh, you have to change it to K plus one. And here it will be K connected and here it will be K internally disjoint parts. And definitely this two connected means two vertex connected, right? We have already mentioned uh, about that uh, earlier. So generalization to K connected graphs from Whitney's theorem. And that generalization uh, theorem is called Menger's theorem. So there is a vertex analog to the statement and an edge analog to the statement. Vertex, and vertex analog statement is a graph G with new greater than or equal to K plus 1 is K connected if and only if any two vertices in G are connected by at least K internally vertex disjoint parts. Similarly, the edge analog statement of Menger's theorem will be a graph G is K edge connected. Here it was K connected. Here it will be K edge connected if and only if any two vertices in G are connected by at least K edge disjoint internally uh, disjoint, they, they should be edge disjoint parts. So that will be the statements uh, which are uh, both a generalization to Whitney's theorem. And with that, we are concluding this video. Thank you for watching this video.